long as I can remember, I always suffered from just rashes and different flare-ups on my skin, itchiness and redness. Ready? Oh, red, red, red! Atopic dermatitis frequently begins in infancy or childhood, although it sometimes develops much later. It can appear anywhere on the body, but often occurs on the face, neck, hands, creases of elbows, knees, and ankle joints. Whoa! Being a pitcher, atopic dermatitis would flare up in those spots where there was the most friction, whether it was under my arm most of the time, um, in my creases of my arms as well, back of my knees was where uh, it flared up. The most common signs and symptoms of atopic dermatitis include dry, raised, inflamed, scaly, or crusty patches of skin. Intense itching can be unbearable for some patients. It's not only the physical side of it, but it's the mental side of it, the emotional side of it. You know, when it's affecting your sleep and how you feel, and if you're constantly itching and irritable, it just, it's, it's no fun at all. For Quincy, growing up with atopic dermatitis was excruciating. He was told not to scratch his skin, but that was hard. What happened was I, I would scratch, I would rub, I would find anything I could to scratch, and it would just damage the skin, and sometimes it would bleed through the clothing. The agony continued in college, where he ran track, and everyone could see his inflamed skin. So I tried to get it under control as much as I could, but it was, it was difficult. After serving as a police officer, Quincy is now an investigator in a district attorney's office. He's trained to get the facts. So I went to the dermatologist um, and got a lot of great information, generally about taking care of your skin, but also specifically about atopic dermatitis. It's important for each patient with atopic dermatitis to find a doctor who can be a partner with them in managing their skin condition and to try to get their skin in the best condition it can be so that they can be comfortable and feel like they can live in their own skin. A board-certified dermatologist is trained to distinguish atopic dermatitis from other disorders. To make the diagnosis, he or she will ask questions about a patient's medical history and may take a skin sample or order other tests. Good communication is essential. When you're seeing a dermatologist in the office, it's important for you to tell about the symptoms that you're experiencing. So have you had any flares of your atopic dermatitis in the past few months since you've seen me? We need to get an assessment of how you're feeling and how much it's impacting your life. That allows us to provide appropriate therapy for you.